Okay, all city auctioneers here with another auction lot for our July 5th, 2023 um, uh, government surplus uh, and estate auction here in Langley, British Columbia. Again, we're all city auctioneers, and as you can see, we use the online bidding site called bcsurplus.com. This is a 2011 uh, a New Holland uh, T4020 uh, four-wheel drive tractor with a uh, 820TL uh, loader. I uh, just got to go and grab my phone because I've got uh, information on there. The city has declared this item as uh, requiring uh, loader arms because the loader arms are bent. Um, kind of hard to see where they're bent, but you know what? I'm not the tractor guy, I'm the auction guy. And also that the uh, front axle seals are due for replacement. It doesn't say that they need to be replaced, it just says due for replacement. Um, so that's on their uh, decommissioning report. I'll wander around, kind of give you the, uh, the who and what for for this thing. Uh, um, you know, the loader arms might be a little bit squint off to the uh, uh, left-hand side of the picture this way. Um, right-hand side when you're sitting inside, only because I, I line up the outside of the unit. There, I got the door open, but you can just see it's just slightly, maybe a little bit off. I'm not sure. Uh, go back over to this side here, and it does look like it's not lined up with the hood very well. but. Like I said, I'm not the tractor guy, I'm the auction guy. So, uh, and remember of course that everything is sold as is, whereas, uh, you know, their uh, vehicles, a government, uh, any auction vehicle, not just ours, but any auction vehicle is uh, always uh, subject to repairs and maintenance. You know what, looking, if that's the center of the loader, you can see it's not really lined up with the center of the uh, tractor. So, no, don't, don't know. Um, it is all functional. Quick connect hydraulic connections there for obviously, uh, you know, a three in one or a four in one bucket. Uh, uh, this one here is just a standard loader bucket. Uh, arms are all there. Let me see uh, information. Full cab, air conditioning. Um, you know, uh, don't know really what else to say. I've taken lots of pictures of the uh, undercarriage there. Uh, looks to be. Uh, um, all complete, everything's operational. Uh, I don't know how to engage the PTO. I'll say it again, I'm not a tractor guy, I'm an auctioneer. So I do know how to drive them, I do know how to make the arms go up and down. I'm sure if I flicked enough levers, I could get that little PTO spinning. But uh, you know, I didn't get that far because we don't test everything. But it does come with uh, the three point hitch, draw bar down below. Doesn't look like the PTO has been used very much, or if not, they've got a cap that they put on it uh, for protection. Uh, various other hydraulic uh, quick connects on the back here for various fittings. This here is the uh, cab information, I believe, for the uh, safety structure. That'd be the ROPS, is what we used to call them, the roll over protection system. Um, tires. Uh, appear to be in fair condition, maybe good condition. Not sure what they would be brand new, but uh, they still got quite a lot of tread on them. The rears are Firestone 16.9-24 10-ply. Turf tires is what I would have called that. And then over here we got the fronts. Uh, look to have a little bit less. And that is also a Firestone, and it's 13.50-16.1 dash 10 ply. Uh, I'm gonna set the camera down, hop inside, fire it up, go the you know put the loader through its uh, little uh, uh, paces, is what we call it. I mean, I don't know what you call it, but so hopefully you can see. I'm gonna kind of put it up here. And as you can see, we don't edit these picture, these videos. I just take it in a single take. So sometimes, you know, we screw up.
I'll let you listen to the motor now. Yeah, not sure if you could see the uh, PTO up and down, but uh, I'll just quickly go do that for you. Hope you can see that. Oops. Okay, you're just gonna shut it off. A uh, cab appears to be, you know, there's some visible uh, wear on the seat here, but other than that, you know, all the uh, switches, buttons all appear to be still in place. Uh, stereo up top there in the uh, corner. Um, if I spin around here, Looks like it's a four-speed standard transmission with the uh, various uh, range selectors. All that seems to be there. Um, yeah, just kind of go through. Uh, air conditioning. Yes, I've actually had the air conditioning on because today decided to be a nice hot day. Um, really. And then here you go here. I'll uh, just let you see. All the warning lights come on. Of course, that's the parking brake that's left there. Uh, temperature gauge, uh, 2,913 hours. Um, I'll take the parking brake off. You can see that comes off. So yeah, away you go. Um, tilt steering, not sure what else to talk about. So. Again, this is a 2011, um, you know, Ford, or not, I guess not a Ford, it's a New Holland. Guess I should have taken the parking brake off. And then uh, here it goes forward also. Um, anyways, yeah, so this is a 2011. It's a New Holland. Oh, I guess I forgot to put the brake on. Uh, it's a New Holland T4020 with, of course, an 820TL loader, fully enclosed glass cab, air conditioning, heat, so on and so forth. And that is selling on July the 5th, 2023 on the bcsurplus.com online auction site. We are all city auctioneers and we are located here in Langley, British Columbia. Bidding happens online, no reserve, highest bid wins. This does have registration documents, so it will need to be transferred prior to uh, uh, try, prior to uh, selling or prior, prior to being picked up. So uh, hope you get another buy by auction. Thank you very much.